Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is fourth grade module two, lesson three. And in this lesson, we are going to be dealing with metric capacity measurements, and we're going to be adding and subtracting them. So let's get started. All right, so the big thing you have to remember is that one liter is equal to a thousand milliliters. So that's the big deal right there. That is, that's kind of like the money shot right there. You got to remember that one liter is equal to a thousand milliliters. And once we got that under our belt, man, everything else is pretty darn easy. For example, let's look at problem A. So five liters. Well, Remembering that each liter is a thousand milliliters, so if you have five liters, that's five thousand milliliters, plus you already have that 850 milliliters. So all together, you now have 5,850 milliliters. Piece of cake. That's basically all we're doing. So let's go down to D. So 17, let's see, it says 17 liters and then two little milliliters. So start with that 17 liters. Well, 17 liters is going to give us 17,000 milliliters because each of those liters is 1,000, so 17,000. Plus we have the extra two right here. So we end up with 17,002 milliliters. And then problem E. Problem E is basically the same, only in reverse. So basically, we've got this big old huge group of milliliters, and we have to divide them out into, you know, cut them, separate them into liters and milliliters. Well, the idea is, we see that it says 13,000. Well, remember, each thousand is a liter, so 13,000 uh, 13,000 milliliters, plus we have the 674 milliliters. So what does that translate to? Well, that translates to 13 liters, that's the 13,000 milliliters, and we have the extra 647 milliliters left over. So now we're going to be practicing that all that concept, and we're going to be adding and we want to express the answer in the smallest unit. Now, the smallest unit means milliliters because milliliters are smaller than liters. So, a couple of ways to do it. I'm just going to show you one. One way to solve it is to say, okay, let's start with 27 liters, 576 milliliters, and we're going to add in 784 milliliters. So the idea is you can only add like units. Like you cannot take these 784 milliliters and add them to 27 directly. You have to have like units, so milliliters. So let's add these milliliters together. 6 and 4 is 0, carry the 10. And then 8, 7, and 1 is 16, so that's 6, carry the 1. And then 1, 5, and 7 is 13. So we get 1,300 milliliters plus we have the 27 liters over there. And the idea is, now here, we can convert 1,600 milli, I mean 1,360 milliliters into 1,360. So that 1,000 milliliters right there gives us an extra liter. So we now have 28 liters and we have 360 milliliters left over because we took all these milliliters and separated them into a liter, plus we had one, uh, 360 milliliters left over. But the idea is, remember, they want us to leave it as the smaller unit. So they want us to take this answer, which is correct, but then change it to just pure milliliters. And so the idea is, well, we know that 28 liters is 28,000 milliliters, plus we still have that 360 milliliters sitting there. So what is our final answer? Well, our final answer is combining these two, and that gives us 28,360 milliliters, and that 
is the answer for that problem. More of the same, only this time we're subtracting, and this time they want us to leave the answer in mixed units. So it's okay for us to have liters and milliliters in our final answer. So let's take a look. So we're going to do 9 liters, 213 milliliters. There's a bunch of different ways to do this problem. I'm going to kind of do the typical algorithm way, which is to say we have 213 milliliters. We're supposed to subtract 638 milliliters. Well, we don't have enough milliliters. So I'm going to take one of these 9 liters and turn it into a thousand milliliters, which is going to give us 1,213 milliliters. So I'm going to take a liter, reducing it down to eight, and that liter is going to give us an additional 1,000 milliliters over here. Now we have enough to subtract. Well, three minus eight, you can't do. So uh, we're going to have to do some regrouping so that one becomes a zero, the three becomes a 13, 13 minus eight is five. Zero minus three we can't do in this context. So the, we're going to borrow or regroup. And so we get 10 minus three, that gives us seven. And then we have 11 minus six, which is five. So we have 575 milliliters and we have eight liters, and we are allowed to leave it in that mixed units kind of an answer. And the last problem is basically the exact same as everything we've been doing, only now they kind of put it in a word problem, so it's just more practice. So let's read the problem. It says, at football practice, the water jug was filled with 18 liters, 530 milliliters of water. So that's pretty important, so we're going to uh, circle it. At the end of practice, there were 595 milliliters left. And then the big question is, how much water did the team drink? So let's draw a picture. And we're going to start by drawing a picture of that water jug. That's, that's our representation of a water jug. And we're going to say that water jug had 18 liters, 530 milliliters of water in it. And then at the end of practice, at the end of practice, there was 795 milliliters left. So the idea is they drank a whole bunch of it. So I'm going to go, they drank, 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 boy, they drank a lot. And so all of this is gone, and it just left us with 795 milliliters left of water. All right? So all of this is gone. And the idea is, well, how much did they drink? So we want to know how much is this piece right here. Well, the way we're going to find it is by subtracting. And we're going to subtract 18 liters, 530 milliliters. We're going to subtract by 795 milliliters. And that's going to give us our final answer. So. Uh, let's scoot that up. All right, so let's do it. Well, you'll notice we only have 530 milliliters up here. We don't have enough milliliters to subtract 795. So let's cash in one of these liters for an additional 1,000 milliliters. So that means instead of having 18 liters, we're going to have 17 liters. And instead of having 530 milliliters, we're going to have 1,000 530 milliliters. So now we can subtract the milliliters. So 0 minus 5, you can't do. So we got to do some regrouping. That gives us a 10. So you subtract, you get 5. 2 minus 9, you can't do. So we got to do some regrouping. That gives us 12. 12 minus 9 is 3. 4 minus 7, you can't do, but that's 14. 14 minus 7 gives us 7. So we have 735 milliliters plus our 17 liters over there that are still sitting there. And that is how much water they drank. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of water that they drank. And that wraps up 4th grade module 2 lesson, 13, uh, lesson 3, where we were adding and subtracting capacity.